bad little thing, a true religion change, Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Today, I'll be doing a hair video. I planned on dyeing and bleaching my old wig. Um, if you follow me on any social media, then you know, like, I change my hair all the time. I don't know why, I just, I don't know, I just get bored, so... And I feel like when your hair gets old, why not color it and experiment? So that's what I'm going to do with this wig today. And I actually, I'm actually going to make it like ash blonde instead of this blonde. And well, it's blonde and it has like brown highlights and stuff in it. But I'm going to go over that, at least the chocolate parts and make them more blonde. So when I put the, um... What's it called? Um, oh my gosh, what are these called? Toners. Yes, toners. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, first I'm going to bleach it. I got BW2 powder. And I got Salon Care 40 Volume Developer. So, and I'm no expert at this. I just like to experiment with my own hair that I purchased myself. So I feel like I would rather mess it up than somebody else mess it up, you know what I mean? So why not experiment? So I'm just gonna, ooh. I do have gloves. I'm gonna put the gloves on in a little bit. So I don't measure it. I just eyeball it and go. So I assume I really don't know. It's just okay. And I don't have aluminum foil. I went to the store and I just knew that I had aluminum foil. So I'm just gonna be using um Walmart bags. So I mean it'll work the same. It probably just take a little bit longer to process and show. So I'm using about this much um powder. I don't know how much it is, but I covered the bottom about this much so yeah and i got my brush too so i'm gonna pour some of this in here and i did not measure that that's about hmm, i think this is enough i actually put the highlights in this hair it came this color but I got tired of it and I bleached it. So I'm gonna bleach it again. Got my powder brush and I got a red tail comb so and this is a frontal on here too on this wig and I made the wig myself as well so and I don't want to put it over all the hair I really want to focus on like the really dark brown parts but I know this is gonna be hard so the back of the wig. Comb it out. So, just focusing on the darker parts. I mean, if it gets on a light part, that's okay. Because the blonde can only go so bright, so... But I don't know if it's going to be bright. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
how the fraud died and made to the side. Um, I don't know if you can, y'all can see like the color or whatever, but I'm about to go wash it out. And the roots definitely took up and some of the front, but I mean, it's still some brown chocolate. Maybe that was too watery in the back or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna go wash it out. And I'm gonna wash it out with this purple shampoo. So I'll get some of the yellow out. And then I'm coming back. So I'm gonna wash the hair out with the purple shampoo. washing the hair with the purple shampoo and I just towel dried it and I don't know if y'all can see it probably still looks a little dark since it's wet so I'm just gonna go ahead with the toners I have two from Wella I only got two because the hair is so short and I got T18, which is light ash, is no, lightest ash blonde, and T35, which is beige blonde. So these are the two. And I didn't read the back while I was at the beauty supply store, and supposed to be mixed with two parts of 20 volume Wella Color Charm Developer, and I got 40 developer. And I was looking at other um, resources online and on YouTube. And I think it's going to do something to it. Mess it up. I don't know. Going to try it. So, I'm going to mix both of them, actually, in a bowl. So, this is the same bowl. And this one is the T35. This one. Wow, that's strong beige blonde okay beige blonde and then i'm gonna fill this up with this 40 volume developer two times so probably should have got another bowl gonna be able to mix both of them in there at the same time but this looks too full I still don't have all my gloves so I'm gonna mix it up I guess it's like brown brassy looking color Actually, like a red brownish undertone or something. And just keep mixing so it can be even. Oh, it dropped on the floor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it. So, I'm mixing. It's like a cranberry looking color.
Okay, so since this one is the beige blonde, I don't know if I want to put it in the back or get another bowl and mix the other one, you know? So they both can be mixed together. Um, so I'm gonna take the hair like I did when I was sectioning off for bleaching. This still looks a little dark, but I'm just gonna coat this. I'm going to go in and comb it. I'm going to use the red tail. Just so it's like evenly applied. And it says that you're supposed to keep this on here for 15 minutes. I mean, 30 minutes, but I think I might try 15 minutes since I'm using a higher developer. I don't know what's gonna happen. And I really wanna focus the T35, which is the darker color, more towards my roots.
so sad if this comes out chocolate or dark brown at all. Any type of brown. Be disappointed. Okay, so this is a hair and it still has a um, toner on it. And it's been about 10, 15 minutes. I don't wanna wait 30 minutes because y'all, it's already dark and I wanna get lighter, not darker. So I'm gonna wash it out with this purple shampoo and this neutralizing shampoo as well. And then condition it. Maybe it did work. Okay, now I'm gonna put some conditioner in there. I'm gonna use the Ozzy Moist conditioner. Cause this hair has been through a lot. I love this conditioner, especially for my weave. It just smells like spiders.
the serum that I used to flatter her. And um, it's lighter. I guess I would have to try it on. And then you will see, but that is how I achieve the Ash Blonde hair color on my wig. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.